Hello. We are going to learn how to sort a bunch of numbers without built-in sort function. Here is our code editor and console on Chrome to show our result. Here are some random numbers. We can sort these numbers easily using sort function. Actually, let's display those random numbers into our console first, so we can compare it. When the numbers become more complex, we need to add parameters on the sort function, but that's a topic for another video. Let's make a simple function to sort these numbers. We will call this sorter function, which has input of an array. And for now, return the same array. Let's display the returned numbers to the console. Let's build this function step by step to better understand its flow. First, we want to compare two numbers. The first number which is array 0 and the second which is array 1. When the first number is bigger than the second, we want to swap them. When the first number is smaller, obviously we don't want to swap. So the operation only happen when this condition met. We make a variable to help us swap. Store the content of the array to swap variable. Swap equal to array 1. Store the content of array 0 into the array 1. Lastly, we restore the swap into the array 1. Pretty simple, let's see it in action. We can see the first and second number swapped. Next, we want to do this for all the number in the array. Make a for loop, make variable i, it's i equal to 1, we usually use 0, but it'll tell you why in a minute. Do this iteration until i just below array length and add 1 into i each iteration. With the first iteration of i equal to 1, we can select the first number like this. And the last number in the iteration will be OK. Next we change the index of the array according to the loop. Let's see it in action. Now a lot of swap is happening but it's not finished yet. We need to do this for some times until all the numbers sorted correctly. Let's make a variable called done, let's set it to false first. And we will do all of the swapping while the sorting when done is still false. We need to make another variable to indicate that the swapping still happening. So let make a variable called swapped which at first equal to 0. And when swapping happened, it switches to 1. When this didn't happen, meaning the sorting is completed, we change the done variable to true, to escape the loop. Ok, let's see it in action. And it is a success. Thank you for watching.